is up my YouTube friends? How are you doing today? I certainly hope that everyone is doing well. I know for me, every day on the north side of the dirt is a pretty good day. You know what I mean? Anyway, you know those cool animations and live streams that announce when someone subscribed or donated? Well, today I want to show you how to add them into your OBS live stream easily, customize them to your tastes. The best part is it's totally free and it won't take more than a few minutes to set up. So you know what? Let's get to it! <laughs> There are a few different applications out there that allow you to add alerts to your live stream, but I'm going to show you Stream Elements, and no, they are not a sponsor of this video. The reason why I love Stream Elements is because they make it so easy to get everything set up, and you can easily see what your stream is going to look like before you even add it to OBS. You can also add everything into one simple overlay so you don't need 20 different browser sources in OBS to have all of the alerts. The first thing I'm going to do is take a screenshot of the scenes in my live stream that I want to add alerts to. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and take a screenshot and we can just come down here and if you've ever used a snipping tool it'll be down here. We'll just go new and we're just going to take a screenshot of our scene and you want to do this for every scene. So we're going to take a screenshot for our main scene and we have a tutorial scene as well that we would take a screenshot for. And that's what we're gonna use for our setup. So all we have to do is go save as, and we can put main cap, and we'll take one for every single scene that we use. And this is so that we can define our layout exactly how we want it. Now we can sign into Stream Elements and set everything up. All right, so here is the page we're gonna to go to. The links are in the description down below so you can follow along. That is the best way to learn. We're going to go ahead and select YouTube here, but if you're going to Twitch or Facebook or something like that, you can select that as well. And all it's going to do is ask us to go ahead and log in to our account and just click OK. And there we go. So we are going to use the overlays section. Of course, I have a bunch of overlays in here just because I've been using this for a really long time. Yours is probably going to be empty. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start with a new overlay and you want to select the resolution that you are going to produce your live stream in. In our case, it's going to be 1920 by 1080, which is the canvas size that we use. And we're going to click Start. And we're going to go up here and we're just going to name it. I'm going to call this Main Overlay. We'll go ahead and save that. And there we go. So now we can go down here and add all kinds of really cool things. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and add an image and I'm just going to set that image and what I'm going to do is go to upload and I'm going to grab the images that we created here, this one right here, I'm just going to drop that in there and click upload and I'm going to go ahead and select that image so that we add it right here and I'm going to make it big enough so that it fits the entire screen and all that fun stuff. So there we go. The whole point of this is just to give us an idea of where we want to place our assets. So what we're going to do is go into layers and we have image one and we're just going to go ahead and make it unvisible by clicking the eye. So now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and add some alerts. So we're going to add an alert box and this is the alert box. You can place it anywhere on your screen. And now that we have a visual representation, of what our screen looks like, we can decide where to place it. So for my main scene, I think I'm gonna have it right over here. And we can resize this box if we want to make it however big we want. And you can see in here, because we're on our YouTube profile, you can add a subscriber alert, a member alert, a super chat alert, a tip alert, and a purchase alert. So you can uncheck any of these if you don't wanna use them. But now all we have to do is go down here and emulate and we can actually emulate a subscriber alert. And there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the audio here, but I will show you how to add that audio into your stream if you want. So you have to decide whether that's the location that you would like to have your alerts come in. And we can do a tip alert as well. And if you wanted to modify any of these alerts with your own images or video that will show up here, it's pretty easy to do. 
So we can select any one of these and go here and you can see there is the video that plays and this is where your text is going to come in and you know you can set how long your alert is you can go down here and you can change so you can have variations where you have multiple uh, different variations of the same alert you can set up text to speech settings so that your alert will speak whatever text a person might have put in there for a donation or something like that you can change your text settings so you can adjust what your font is right here and I think all of these are Google fonts so pretty much anything that you can think of is going to be in there if you want to change the text of your alert whether it's centered left aligned right aligned however you want it to be you can make it bold so you have access to do all of these things and then if there's secondary text for let's say the text that somebody wrote in as a message you can have that come in you can have a different actual font for all that stuff as well so you have access to all of these things then you can go into advanced and you can specifically move it around the actual box so there is a lot of modification that you can do to make each of these alerts completely your own and then in animation settings you can set how the alert comes in and out so you can set it to bounce in and bounce out and how long the text appears when the text disappears so if you add your own animations or something like that instead of using the one that is included right here you can set up the length of all of the things so that it flows perfectly and it's completely customized for your live stream and every time you change something you just have to go in here and test it bada bing there you go now you might be saying well Mike that's great but I have a second scene and maybe I don't want to have the alert right there well that's really not a problem what we're gonna do is we're gonna save out of here and I'm gonna go back into here and I'm just gonna create a new overlay and same 1080 and I'm just gonna call this to overlay there and we're gonna save that and then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and click the plus here we're gonna go to image and I'm gonna go ahead and upload another image and this time we're gonna upload the one for our tutorial screen so there we go you can see my cameras up here in the top right so if I had placed my alerts in the top right well now we have another one so we can actually move them to somewhere else so I'm gonna go ahead and submit this and we're gonna go and scale it and we will just scale this up so it fills the screen and we got a pretty good idea of where it's going to fall on our OBS and then I'm gonna go ahead into layers and we're gonna just make that unvisible and then what I'm gonna do is we can add our alerts again I'll click the plus and go to our alert box and this time if I wanted to I can move it down here so now on our tutorial screen it would be down here and on our main screen it would be up here in the top left all you have to do is add each of these overlays individually into those screens so I'll show you exactly how that works in just a minute but let's go back out here and let's go back into our main overlay and at the bottom you can see I already have added in our last donation our latest subscriber right here and our latest super chat right here that information is already in there right down here however if you want to know how you can add those in there the latest subscriber latest super chat and latest donation in my particular case is actually text in my overlay and then I just add the names let me show you how that works so I'm gonna go ahead and click the plus and we're gonna to go to labels and we're gonna add our latest subscriber so there we go and you can see it shows up right here and it does have latest subscriber so what I do on my stream is I just go up here and I strip the latest subscriber text and then I place it down here and obviously I I change the font which you can do right here in text settings and everything else I change the font to set it up exactly how I want it you can just put in latest subscriber and then the name and you don't have to physically add anything you can do it exactly like that if that's what you want to do so that is how you add the stream labels to your stream 
we could go into our stream labels right here and I can change it up again if we go into settings and I can add it back in there or I can put latest sub and I can actually put them on separate lines so we can do all of these things however you want them done then you can just place it wherever you want on the screen so that is how you add that now there are a lot of other alerts on here you've got your engagement alerts which have a countdown for a time when your stream starts you've got merchandise goals that you can set up you can go down to static and custom and create a custom widget and if you look here everything is completely blank you can go and create your own just by clicking open editor and if you know HTML or CSS or JavaScript or anything like that you can physically create your own alert right in here now if you do have an alert that you want gone you can see we have custom widget right here we just have it selected and you click the delete button and boom it disappears you also have stream tools down here where you can add your streams chat you have charity and seasonal so you can add seasonal little widgets and charity widgets right here if you are trying to do some donations to charity also up here in alerts you have a merchandise alert box the hype cup the capigan and the hype boss so there are all kinds of different things that you can do you can do labels for other down here which has a hype train count and an event list bot counter all that sort of stuff so there are a lot of different amazing ways that you can use stream elements all we really have to do now is go ahead and add these elements to our live stream so how do we do that well you want to first make sure that you save it and then we're gonna click this little copy overlay URL and then what we're going to do is go ahead and go into our OBS and all we have to do is go into our sources click the plus go to browser and we're going to go ahead and call this main alerts and then what we're going to do is click OK we're going to paste that in there this is the link that's what the little paper clip did was copy that to our clipboard so this is the URL we just pasted in there and then we're going to set it up so the width and height are the same as our resolution so 1920 by 1080 and then because our alerts have audio or maybe we're doing text to speech or something like that we're going to click control audio via OBS so that'll add another volume bar down here for us to control so when we get an alert we're going to be able to actually hear that sound and then we click OK and now our alerts are all set up so we can easily test these by just going over here and what I'm gonna do is just shrink that down like that and we'll move this over here to the side and we'll do that so then we click emulate and we go to a subscriber event and as you can see it shows up we can also see our audio shows up as well and we can go to subscribe we can go to super chat and we can test that and it shows up here shows up here and there we go so that's how you add it if we wanted to add the other one for our tutorial screen all we have to do is make sure this is saved properly we're gonna go out of here we're gonna go into our tutorial we're gonna go ahead and click our edit button right here the copy URL button we go back over here and we're going to go to our tutorial screen and click the plus and we're going to go ahead to browser and we'll call this to alert and click OK we'll copy that in here go ahead and put our resolution 1920 by 1080 we're going to control our audio via OBS click OK and then what we're going to do go ahead and we'll just half the screen again and now we can test this one by just going in here and clicking subscriber event and there we go you probably want to mute the audio if you're going to keep stream elements open while you're live streaming because you really don't want it to play through your speakers however most people will go in here anyways and just switch this over to their headphones so they can hear any of the actual audio that's coming from the desktop anyways 
So either way, you're probably in good shape there. But now we have an alert system completely built into our live stream that's going to be just awesome. Now, I didn't actually show you this, but if we go back to the main scene, you're going to see this is kind of all messy. And that's because in our main scene over here, we did add a second one. We go back to our main tutorial here, just so you can see that it actually works. Down here, we did add that right there. And like I said, because I have this stuff built in here, that's why it looks so messy, because it's just over top. So what we can do, if you want to move an asset around, it's really pretty simple. We'll just go ahead and move this asset. We're going to select the latest sub, and we're going to move it. And if we move it over here, what you're going to see is if I go over into OBS, it hasn't moved. It's still over top of the other one. However, if I just go over here and I click save, then when we go into OBS, you can see that it's moved right over here. So it's really that simple. It's pretty awesome. And you can customize these alerts in absolutely incredible ways. It's a lot of fun. Try it out for yourself. That sure was easy. Is there something I missed talking about that you wanted to know? Let me know in the comment. And if you want to see how you can create custom alerts using StreamerBot, check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.